In this presentation, we're going to borrow some data from the physics classroom website. It provides a good discussion and explanation about positive and negative acceleration. So our aim is to identify that positive acceleration doesn't always mean speeding up and negative acceleration doesn't always mean slowing down or decelerating. So the direction of acceleration depends on two things, whether the object is speeding up or slowing down and whether the object is moving in the positive or negative direction. This rule of thumb is useful. If an object is slowing down, then its acceleration is in the opposite direction of its motion. Alternatively, we could say if an object is speeding up, then its acceleration is in the same direction of its motion. Firstly, we'll look at positive acceleration, and we're going to use Excel to graph uh, these two tables of data. For these two examples, remember that we're talking about positive acceleration. In the first table of data, we can see that velocity is positive, so the object is moving to the right or in the positive direction. In the first table of data, we can see that velocity is increasing, or in other words, the object is speeding up. In the second table of data, although it's negative, we can see that velocity is decreasing, or in other words, the object is slowing down. If we go back to our rule of thumb, if an object is slowing down, then its acceleration is in the opposite direction of its motion. And recall that we said if an object is speeding up, then its acceleration is in the same direction of its motion. So for our first example, we know that acceleration is in the same direction as the motion because the object is speeding up. And in the second example, we know that acceleration is in the opposite direction to motion because the object is slowing down. So we've interpreted from our data tables that acceleration in both cases is positive. What are the graphs telling us? Recall that we can use a velocity versus time graph to obtain acceleration and it can be determined by the slope of the graph. We can see in both cases that the slope is positive. Therefore, acceleration is positive. In the first case, we can see velocity is positive, And then we've got positive acceleration. So according to our rule of thumb, we know that the object is speeding up because the acceleration is in the same direction as velocity. In the second case, We've got negative velocity, which means the object's going towards the left. We've got a positive slope indicating positive acceleration. Therefore, we know that the object is slowing down because acceleration is in the opposite direction to motion. So these two cases demonstrate how positive acceleration can mean speeding up or slowing down that it just depends on whether acceleration is in the same or in the opposite direction to motion. The Moving Man Interactive shows that if acceleration and velocity are both positive, the man will speed up. It also shows that if velocity is negative or the man is moving to the left and acceleration is positive or in the opposite direction, that the man will slow down. These two cases are examples of negative acceleration. In this case, we've got velocity is positive. We can see that the object is slowing down because velocity is de decreasing. And going by the rule of thumb, 
acceleration will be in the opposite direction to motion if the object is slowing down. In this case, we've got negative velocity, so the object is moving in the, op the opposite direction. We can see that the object is speeding up because velocity is increasing. And going by the rule of thumb, acceleration will be in the same direction as the motion if the object is speeding up. And the graphs demonstrate negative acceleration because the slope is negative as shown. So these two cases demonstrate how negative acceleration doesn't always mean slowing down. In other words, negative acceleration doesn't mean deceleration, that it depends on the direction of motion. And if acceleration is in the opposite direction or in the same direction. So the Moving Man Interactive shows us this time that if velocity is positive or moving to the right and acceleration is negative or in the opposite direction, that the man will slow down. It also shows that if velocity is negative and acceleration is negative, then the man will speed up. So summing up, if an object is speeding up and moving in the positive direction, then acceleration will be in the same direction as motion, that is positive. If an object is slowing down and moving in the negative direction, then acceleration will be in the opposing direction, which is positive. In the case of negative acceleration, if an object is slowing down and moving in the positive direction, acceleration will be in the opposite direction or negative. If an object is speeding up and moving in the negative direction, acceleration will also be in the same direction or negative.